Okay, today we're going to take uh, a detour into a seedier part of uh, the pulsing cinema, the seedier part of movies. We're going to talk about Mad Love Life of a Hot Vampire. I always thought it was Mad Love Life of a Red Hot Vampire. And I, anyway, Mad Love Life of a Hot Vampire, Ray Dennis Steckler porno film, uh, adult movie. The adult movies of Ray Dennis Steckler are interesting. Well, Ray Dennis Steckler's whole filmography is an interesting you know, uh, anomaly. <laughs> Ray Dennis Deckler was a, a guy, he was a, a, started off really primarily as a cameraman. He had a few, you know, real jobs, but he made these movies just like home movies, but, he, but they were actual theatrical films. He would just get together his friends family, people in his neighborhood. Gary Kent, uh, I met Gary Kent, who was one of the, the co-stars of The Thrill Killers, and he, he did a little uh, part in my movie that I shot, and I had talked to him a little bit about uh, Ray Dennis Steckler. Not a lot, but, because, uh, I don't know, what, there, what is there to talk about Steckler? <laughs> we can say it's just crazy, you know. I was just more like, wow, you were Thrill Killers, you know. <laughs> <laughs> wow, <laughs> that was all I could say. But uh, Ray Dennis Deckler just made these movies, which are just collections of stuff. He was just um, famous, notorious for just you know making up the plots on the spot, just putting together these improv sh films, which you know just they they seem like this mismatch of just elements, things coming together, stuff he got for free. Uh, <laughs> Just anything. If, it, if there was a parade, you know, uh, on the street, he would just t take his actors and jump into the parade and shoot some scenes in the parade. Then just put it in the movie, like a home movie. His movies are uh, you know, cult movies. Are notorious. Rat Fink and Boo Boo, or Rat Finka Boo Boo. Uh, you know, incredibly strange creatures who decide to stop living and become mixed up zombies. The Thrill Killers, as I said. Okay, you know, the guy is, uh, has a has a rep, has a reputation. But he also made these adult movies in the mid to late 70s, and I guess throughout the 80s. And the, uh, you know, adult movies, and I think he also did some uh, photography of some kind. And it's, the adult movies of Raiden and Steckler are so weird because they're exactly like the non-adult movies of Raiden and Steckler in that they're just mismatches of, of people, of friends, uh, you know, and uh, but then they've got this element of hardcore in them, you know. Uh, so it's just and he just shoots him his real house. He just every, everything, you know. You'll you'll see like overlaps of like actors. His wife, Carolyn Brandt, who was the the star of Incredibly Strange Creatures. She's in Mad Life of uh, Mad Love Life of a Hot Vampire. She plays the narrator. She plays the wife of Dracula, who narrates this kind of threadbare plot. She comes on at the beginning. Oh, in the beginning is is uh, the, the Mad, Lo Mad Love Life of a Hot Vampire is like this. It, the title is like written on chalk or something. I don't know what the fuck it is. It's, it's crazy. And then Carolyn Brandt comes in. I am the wife of Dracula, and Dracula. And then Dracula comes in. Is this like Jim Parker? I think he was this radio DJ or something. And he's lit this green light, and he's like, "Go forth, my vampire bride." So there's three vampire brides, and they go on the street, streets of I'm assuming Las Vegas. They pick up these guys, and then there's these three separate vignettes of these guys having sex with these with with these vampire brides very, very languid kind, and the, the Ray Dennis Teckler sex scenes are very, like, anti-erotic. They're very anti-loving. They're, they're very dirty and mechanical and overlong and just um, will, will pr probably turn you off to humanity. <laughs> so, a anyway, uh, the, all this bad sex occurs, and then Van Helsing comes along and uh, stakes Dracula. The end. So that's pretty much it. <laughs> I mean, it, it, you know, it's it's. Uh, 
most people who were doing adult movies, there was a lot of people like Gary Graver and uh, legitimate directors and, you know, most of them had like firewalls in their career between their adult work and then their real work, you know. Uh, Ray Dennis Teckler uh, basically came up with, with false names, but remember he was coming up with false names, cash flag and everything for his real movies. Uh, but Wolfgang Schmidt for the slasher movies. But there's no real firewall between his adult work and his real work. I mean, he casts his wife, you know, very identifiably his wife in this film. And then he... Um, he he puts all of the all of the, the locations and his home and and everything from the uh, from his real movies and real life into the into the adult movies. So it's like it's not like a big you know even though his name isn't on the movie, it's not a big leap to realize that the same guy who made like Skid Row Slasher also made something like Sexist as Devil, you know. I don't know, I'm getting kind of deep into this, uh, you know, adult. Uh, Ray Dennis Deckler, man, a big inspiration to me. I, uh, and, and in fact, I, I got to speak to Ray Dennis Deckler once, and uh, the adult movies are actually the reason that he hung up on me. Uh, because uh, I, with the Pulsing Cinema, I emailed him and said, hey, you know, with the, I'm, you know, Pulsing Cinema, I want to do a, an, a podcast with you. I want to do an interview. And I call him up at the video store. He answers video. And I'm like, you know, before we do this interview, I want to be clear. You know, I, I kind of want to I, I want to talk about the adult movies. And just kind of like just an, over, just an overview. Not really. And he's like, what? I, don't, I haven't made adult movies. You know? There's some some other person named Cindy Lou Sutter who's just like me, or, or you know, he and he starts raffling off all of his adult um, pseudonyms, you know, that I didn't know. I don't know at this point. I didn't know Cindy Lou Sutter. I didn't know the only really adult movie that of his that I had seen at that point was Mad Love Life of a of a, of a hot vampire, and. Uh, and I was like, oh, what? And I'm like, and he's like, and then he like quickly just it's like, no, I don't, I don't want to do this. And he hangs up on me. So I call him back and I'm kind of like, I try to, you know, apologize. I'm like, hey, I'm, you know, I'm sorry. And when, you know, because I, I, it was, again, I didn't spring it on him during the interview. I was like, it was kind of a pre-interview thing. I was like, hey, are you comfortable with talking about this? You know? And uh, he, he calls it and I call him back and he's like, ah, he's, he's like yelling at me. He's like, ah, oh, I bust my ass. He said, he said exactly, I bust my ass for you guys. And this is what you give me. I don't think he said, this is what you give me, but this is what I get. Or something like that. But he definitely said, like, I bust my ass for you guys. And this is what I get. And you can da 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 And he hangs up on me. So... <laughs> Oh, Ray Dennis Deckler, man. Wow. But the Red Hot Vampire, I mean, it, it, and the and the scene where the vampire girls kill the 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 men, uh, and and harvest the blood for Dracula. They have these the the plastic vampire fangs. It's uh, it's totally ridiculous. But. There's there's a certain charm to it. I, again, I I think this is one one of his more charming uh, adult films. If you put parts of it on fast forward, if you know what I mean, you know, if you put some of the stuff on fast forward, uh, you can you can slog through it. And and there's 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 some kind of uh, semi entertainment. The bad pussy don't don't watch. Some of the other ones, Sexist as Devils, maybe okay. I don't know. I haven't really even watched a lot of them to be honest. I just you know, Mad Love Life. I saw it. I I first rented it on VHS from the great Stardust Video in Orlando, Florida. Uh, it was released by Something Weird Video on VHS. Uh, you know, uh, the great Henan Lauder, Frank Henan Lauder, dug this film out of God knows where, and thank God he did. Uh, thank God he did. He did a public service. And uh, he paired it with another uh, uh, 
uh, Ray Dennis Deckler vampire adult movie. It's just like a short though. So there, there's two. There's a two for one. Vinegar Syndrome has released uh, this movie on on DVD uh, with a couple of other Ray Dennis Deckler uh, ruffies, adulties. How, what do you call them? They're not a ruffie, but they're adulty. I guess the thrill killers might be considered a ruffie. Anyway, anywho, uh, here it is: Mad Love Life of a Hot Vampire. Uh, a, a strange, strange adult movie, but then again, all of all of Ray Dennis Deckler movies were one way or another kind of incredibly strange hodgepodges of God knows what, and uh, his his uh, adult work uh, was no was no different, really. Yeah, remember the ads that he used to put in like I think uh, Film Facts. Or something where he was selling these movies, or like cult movies, he was selling like black and white VHS versions of the movies. And then like in the same ad, he was selling like f- photographs <laughs> that he'd taken of, I guess, starlets or whatever. You know, it was weird, because I mean, it was weird. Again, there was no firewall in his life. You know, it's not a, you don't have to do big detective work to, to know that he was into this stuff, you know, photography, what, you know, even in the incredibly strange interview where he's just talking about, oh yeah, most of my life I've made my money by doing photog- photography. Yeah. I, I mean, like, I, I, I love the, the, the mindset of Ray Dennis Deckler. Okay. I got a full page ad in a magazine. I might as well just sell my, my, my photos as well. You just throw it in there while well, I got a full page ad, you know, it's like, he, there's no idea of like maybe I want to put a firewall between but this but, but who cares you know it was it was crazy this is just fun this is so loopy oh yeah I don't I, I don't even know one interview where he's talked about these movies I think he was he was ashamed he was didn't want to talk about them but at the same time, it just it just blows my mind. If he if he wants to, if he's so ashamed of it and wants to, why didn't he like kind of try to separate himself? You know, because there have been legitimate directors who would like separate, like Wes Craven and stuff. I don't think Wes Craven necessarily separate himself. I mean, but I mean, Wes Craven has you know was in those movies. You see him, you know, and somehow. He's more separate than than Ray Dennis Teckler. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. It's crazy.